They're ready. And they're off. Away. His Majesty was just a little bit slow towards the stand side. Going forward is uh, Valiant Force, with also now preceded by Thunder Blue towards the far side, chased over there by American Rascal and Elite Status on that far side with Devious. And they're also tracked by Malk back in the field over on that far side with Reveille also in the firing line. More towards the right hand side, the stand side. Shayek is showing speed with Mon the sleeve. And then uh, behind these on the stand side. No Name Mets is being driven along by Frankie de Tori, Toca Madeira as they race on inside the final two furlongs and doing well on this side also is the fixer. Racing now to the final furlong. Far side it's a Valiant Force that leads to elite status. Chased by Malk on the stand side coming through is His Majesty now as they race up towards the line. Valiant Force perhaps doing best far side. Chased by Malk and elite status it's Valiant Force that wins the Norfolk. From Malk in second and Elite status far side, his majesty down the near side. Now they're off, away they go for this King George V handicap and Land Legend wasn't particularly well away, Sisva's strength quickly into stride and the nose band on the outside, going forward Mr. Mistopheles with Wonder Legend and Struth in yellow sleeves and up to the inside is Perfuse in the pink cap running down the hill, out wide then is Davideo in the silver silks with the claret cap, they're chased by Tagabawa and also by Burglar, Valiant King in a claret jacket, Krakowia pushed along on the inside Double March is further back in the field from Inquiring Minds and Graceful Storm. Bertinelli in the purple jacket towards the rear with also Desert Hero uh, on uh, his heels, followed by Cloudbreaker, Lieber Power, Duke of Oxford and Land Legend slow to stride his last as Davideo takes up the running going into Swindley Bottom. David Deo and Ross Orion seeking a double on this third day at Royal Ascot leads by a length and a half to Sisyphus Strength and Mr. Mistopheles. Tracked by Wonder Legend on the outside of Struth back in fifth place. Yellow Sleeves on the inside. Then Perfuse in the pink cap from Tagger Bauer and the pace is well and truly on as they make the climb back towards home. Back in the field then is Burglar. Uh, behind Burglar then is Double March. Further back in the field, Graceful Storm. The greys towards the inside but it's Davido that leads the way as they head now towards the final half mile and Davido, Mr. Mistopheles, Wonder Legend is stalking them on the outside back on the inside then to Sisyphus Strength, Perfuse still going well Struth angling a little off the fence followed by Krakowia, then Burglar just behind Tagabawa, back in the field to Valiant King and then under a little bit of pressure Bertinelli, a Graceful Storm Desert Hero Inquiring Minds uh, making some ground round the outside is Cloud breaker inside the final three furlongs. Duke of Oxford and Land Legend at the rear of the field. A very open looking race but Wonder Legend has come through to lead and is committed by Dan Musket but Perfuse is quick to challenge and so too Tagabawa and then Burglar's running on with Bertinelli and on the outside Cloudbreaker. Perfuse now leads. Perfuse from Tagabawa. Valiant King in behind is staying on well. Down the near side Cloudbreaker. Also Bertinelli in the purple cap and Desert Hero coming through in the Royal Colours. They race up towards the line. Desert Hero squeezing through between Valiant King and Bertinelli. It's going to be close, Desert Hero. Desert Hero for the King on the near side of Valiant King. Set to go. And they're off. Racing away. The journey is a mile and a half here for these fillies for the Group 2 Ribblesdale Stakes. And through the opening furlong midnight mile is one of the first ones to show together with Ferrari Queen and Lumiere Rock is run up there in the yellow. From that very wide posting, Sea of Roses is also quite prominent and racing quite keenly. Right in behind her is Warm Heart, then Climate Friendly and Village Voice. Alice Efer is settled back towards the midfield with Crown Princess in the light blue jacket just in front of her then Perfect Prophet and Maman June. Deep on the circuit then is Red Riding Hood in the purple and white colours. LeMay more towards the inside of Gara in that white jacket. Further behind is Understated and Russia De Leo and Red and White Silks is the bat marker. It is Ferrari Queen, the grey that leads narrowly as they head around Swilly Bottom shortly by three parts of a length over Warm Heart who's racing in second. Sea of Roses remains prominent there towards the outside. Midnight Mile continues to 
to track them in fourth position. They're followed around the corner by Climate Friendly and Lumiere Rock. Next is Crown Princess, followed to the inside by Blue Stocking. LeMay isn't far behind her. Then Perfect Profit, Alice for trying to make a little bit of ground together with Village Voice as they now travel towards the final five furlongs. Understated is still towards the back of the field with Gara. Also right up the back is Red Riding Hood to Maman June and still last of all is Rocha de Leo. They're closing in on the final half a mile of the Ribblesdale and it's Sea of Roses in now puts it up to Ferrari Queen. A length and a half in behind that is Warm Heart in the dark blue. Then Climate Friendly wider out for Lumiere Rock and Midnight Mile. Then Blue Stocking followed then by the light blue of Crown Princess and they're on the turn back towards home approaching the final three furlongs. Sea of Roses under Oshi Murphy will lead them in from the dark blue of Warm Heart in second. Then Climate Friendly. Crown Princess trying to build up her effort. Here comes Alice Sifa out wide in the blue and white now. They're racing inside the final quarter mile. Warm Heart now just goes on from Sea of Roses and Crown Princess. Alice has now shaken up towards the outside. Racing inside the final furlong and a half and it's Warm Heart who leads the way under Ryan Moore from Crown Princess. Running up then is Lumiere Rock and then Sea of Roses. Alice Sifa is beaten as they go inside the final half of furlong. It's Warm Heart who's strong to the finish and Warm Heart will win. Warm Heart has won the Ribblesdale from Lumiere Rock. Crown Princess and Blue Stocking tight there third and fourth set and they're off for the gold cup two and a half miles and through the very early stages subjectivist in the bright green jacket is one of the first ones to show together with emily dickinson in the dark blue and over toward the running rail that is lone eagle who also has a prominent role early they're being followed through by Broom towards the outside in the grey and white check. The dark blue sleeves and cap with the noseband is Cold Train. Against the running rail in the red is Wise Eagle. Then the nosebanded head of Nate the Great. To his inside is the mare Echoes in Rain. Another length away to Eldar Eldorov in the yellow and black stripes. Courage Monami is towards the inside of Eldar Eldorov. Second to last is Big Call and sitting chilly at the back of the field is Yabir fully 10 to 12 lengths behind the leader. And that leader is the winner from two years ago, Subjectivist who shows the way up the home straight the first time and leads by a length and a half to Lone Eagle who's racing in second. Then Emily Dickinson back in third, Broom is in fourth, Wise Eagle next to the inside of Coltrane. Echoes in rain, the green and red silks, together with Nate the Great, the orange cap. Courage Monami is racing alongside Eldar Eldorov. Big call is second to last in Yubir as the back marker. And they have a circuit to go in the Gold Cup. They're being led by Subjectivist. He leads by two lengths to Lone Eagle Racing in second. They've developed a bit of a gap on the others now. Probably about four lengths in to Emily Dickinson, who's racing back in third. Broom is in fourth as they begin to head down the side of the course. Wise Eagle is behind Broom and racing back in fifth place. Coltrane is next. Behind Coltrane is Echoes in Rain. Then Nate the Great and Eldar Eldorov, followed by Courage Monami. Big Call is second to last, and Yabir is still the back marker. Inside the final mile and three furlongs, and it's Subjectivist. He goes along out in front. He leads by the best part of two and a half lengths to Lone Eagle, who's racing in second. Emily Dickinson, she's back in third. Then came Broom in fourth from Wise Eagle, only a half a length that away to Cold Train. Behind Cold Train to the inside, Echoes in Rain. Then Nate the Great and Courage Monami from Eldar Eldorov and Big Call is still second to last. Yabir is the back marker. Right over on the far side of the track, they're about to go inside the final nine furlongs. And it's Subjectivist who still gallops along out in front. He leads the way from Lone Eagle in second. Emily Dickinson in a share for third with stable companion Broom. Then came Wise Eagle racing to the inside of Coltrane. Those are the next two. Echoes in rain still pitched up against the inside running rail in front of Nate the Great, Courage Monami and Eldar Eldorov. Big call still at the back there with the Abir as they now begin to head towards the final three parts of a mile. And as they do so, it is Subjectivist who still has the front running role in front by a good two and a half 
half lengths at this stage to Lone Eagle in second. Emily Dickinson is back in third. Then a further one length away to Broome in fourth. Wise Eagle is handily positioned in fifth. Behind Wise Eagle then is Cole Train. Behind Cole Train is Courage Mon Ami. And then came Nate the Great and Eldar Eldarov. He's trying to make some ground now. Echoes in rain towards the inside of him. And then Courage Mon Ami. Big call and no move yet from Yabir. The field begin to stack up as they make their way inside the final half a mile. Subjectivist with Lone Eagle very much on his quarters now to the outside. Pushed along in third is Emily Dickinson. Coltrane is in fourth now. Nate the Great's under pressure. Wise Eagle is losing ground and they're about to turn towards home. And it's Lone Eagle who's come through to pick it up under Ross Ryan. Subjectivist now under pressure. Coltrane with a nose pad. Every chance and Emily Dickinson echoes in rain in the green trying to get going. Courage Monami is also staying on looking to angle between rivals as Cole Train has now gone on for a lone eagle. Here comes Frankie on Courage Monami though, building up a big looking effort. They go inside the last now. Courage Monami draws on turns with Cole Train. Courage Monami and Cole Train will battle out the Gold Cup. Cole Train coming back for more on the inside. Courage Monami though, under Frankie, just proving the stronger on the run for the line. And Courage Monami under Frankie has won the Gold Cup from Cole Train, then subjectivist and Emily Dickinson clear from Nate the Great. Then your beer echoes in rain and Eldar Eldar off. Ready? And they're off. Racing away for the Britannia over the straight mile. Breaking out well over on the far side there was Naxos from stall seven. Showing speed early on is Forsyth Timau in the violet silks. And Finn's charm is well positioned as well towards the near side. Starnberg is also a prominent near side group. As down the centre of the course it's Forsyth Timau who's just about out in front. Being pressed though all the time by Saxon King and Thunderball. And with those Naxos right in behind the speed then is Karachi. Starnberg more towards the near side. Finn's charm is still prominent on that near side group with Ramazan. Justin Hour is struggling over on the far side group currently and they're about to race up towards halfway. Thunderball forced him out of the far side. Starnberg and Finn's charm in racing brakes rider and Fort Vega are on the near side group. They're then followed by Urban Swall over on the far side together with Physique and then came Naxos. Behind Naxos then looking to creep up into it over toward that far side is better days are coming as they race now towards the final three furlongs. Thunderball forced him out over on that far side group from Urban Spall. Quantum Impact is making ground. Then Starberg, Ramazan trying to come into it more towards the near side. They're heading down towards the final quarter mile. And as they do so, Thunderball is together with Quantum Impact down the centre. Then Ramazan, Mustajab is getting going as well. Trying to come into it for Zeke as they race to the final furlong. New Endeavour has also burst through now far side. New Endeavour over on the far side just about leads overall. Near side, Docklands hit the front from Ramazan. Bless is battling on as well. It's the far side, New Endeavour, who shows out in front. Near side is Docklands, they're wide apart. New Endeavour and Docklands, they head towards the line. It's Docklands, near side, New Endeavour, far side. It's tight between and then Urban Sprawl and Thunderball. And away they go. Bolster just went a little bit right-handed and gave Waipiro a small knock leaving the stalls. Uh, going forward, Brave Emperor towards the inside, also up the rail is Epictatus. Wider out, Bolster moving into a forward position now in the red cap. Out wide, Oviedo, followed by Captain Winters and Canberra Legend close up. Then Exoplanet, yellow black spots, white cap towards the outside of drum roll in the dark blue colours. Tony Montana against the fence. Dear My Friend in an orange cap is a little worse than midfield from Waipiro, Torito held up with Killybegs Warrior, bold act and then Carnarfon and uh, at the rear of the field Dancing Magic, swinging out of Swinley Bottom and it's uh, Brave Emperor who takes them along a touch keenly by a couple of lengths to Oviedo in second, bolster up on the outside of Epictatus they are third and fourth as they race now towards the final five furlongs, behind these then Captain Winters with Exoplanet and then Torito just towards the second half of the field still Canberra Legends just inside Torito and then on the inside is Tony Montana, bold at remains one of those towards the bit rear with Waipiro drum rolls in the centre, dark blue jacket Ryan Moore right out the back dancing magic with Killy Beggs Warrior into the long right hander Brave Emperor out in front from Oviedo and they've got a couple of lengths on Bolster who's going to turn in third place, Epictatus and then Captain Winters followed then by Canberra Legend being asked for more now. 
After these, Exo planted on the outside. Torito trying for a run, but caught out very wide in the green cap. Back on the inside to Tony Montana down their home run. Oviedo took over. Here's Frankie on Epic Taters coming through with Brave Emperor. And Oviedo is swerving left-handed into bolster there. Out wide, Exo Planet. And then Canberra Legend trying to come through as well. A very open-looking race. And Wipero has come through as well. And it's Wipero that now leads the Derby. Six leads the way and has kicked away from Exo so planted and drum roll stays on, but it's Wipero for Hampton Court Stakes Glory. Tight for a second, Exo Planet probably in amongst them. Then Torito got a knock, bold act. And they're off. Away they go. And Tylos broke out fairly well. Well away towards the far side. Great Max has a bit of a lead over there from Redana towards the left-hand side. The far side group in the firing line. Two Kingdom come from Biggles and Lear Special. More towards the centre. Warrior Brave in a red jacket. They are tracked by Montasib and Northern Express and Ropey Guest, followed then by Baradar and Accidental Agent. More towards the right-hand side. On the stand side, we've got uh, Tylos still prominent with Percy's lad and then uh, the gatekeeper and Ross Collin. Croupier in a red sleeve jacket is just tracking these from Vaffertino and then behind those is Spangled Mac and Spanish star Bo Pedro Unforgotten and Witch Hunter at the back of that group as they race on down towards the final three furlongs on the extreme right Gorek is right to the fore chased by documenting and so we've got three groups now on the stand side Gorek coming through with a bit of a run is Spirit of Light, Rhythm Master. Then behind those is uh, Totally Charming, Documenting. And wider out is Twa My Son. Towards the centre, Croupier coming through in the red sleeves from Percy's Lad. Then Spanish Star Witch Hunter. Far side, Great Max still doing well. Northern Express in a noseband. Croupier, Northern Express. And then on the near side, finishing well is Witch Hunter. And it's Witch Hunter that's getting up from Croupier and Northern Express. Witch Hunter wins the Buckingham Palace from Croupier, Northern Express. Express back in third, fourth possibly Spangled Mac, though Bo Pedro was doing well as well.